Hello viewers, I am Reaver Jolts and welcome to another video. Today is a Christmas special, so Merry Christmas guys. This video is coming out on Christmas Eve, not Christmas, because I'm going to be spending the actual Christmas day with my family of course. So the theme for this video today is that I'm going to be fighting every single ice monster, but there is a twist. The twist is that this will be a roulette challenge. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be spinning a wheel and that's going to decide how I have to beat said monster. So here's the wheel we'll be using. What I have listed is ice weapons only, minus ice resistance, that means we have to play while being weak to ice. Uh, on site items only, that means we can only use items on site. No dodging, no armor, lance charging only. Some of these are actually callbacks to previous challenges I've done uh, to beat entire games with, lance charging being one of them. MH3U moveset only. This is a callback to the classic only challenge, which is my most popular video. No part breaks, no healing, and no camera controls. This means I can't use the control stick for my camera. I can't use the L buttons at all. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to pick a monster that we are going to fight, and I'm going to spin the wheel for it. And after the wheel chooses what challenge we have to do with that monster, uh, we have to do that challenge with that monster. And if I fail the hunt with that monster, with that challenge, specifically, I lose the challenge and I have to move on to the next monster. So, I'm going to be keeping a counter for how many wins and losses I have. And also, I forgot to mention, this challenge only counts for monsters that can inflict ice that are, you know, specifically ice monsters. I'm not counting Kushala Deora. I'm not counting Bonbaro. Uh, Bombaro may look like he comes from ice, but he goes everywhere, so that doesn't really count. Plus, he doesn't directly inflict ice on you. He's mostly raw with the environments he uses. That same thing can go for Tigrix, even. I also forgot to mention that the order that I fight these monsters in will be decided when I edit the video. And that's all the rules, so let me look at the list. Our first monster that we will be hunting is Gyodrome. Gyodrome is one of the weaker ice monsters, so uh, let's get started. All right, we've got the roulette wheel here. Let's go ahead and choose. This is for Gyodrome. Let's see what we have to use. There's the arrow that's on the left here. This will decide what we do. So here we go. Ugh, all right, so that means ice weapons only. This means I have to use a weapon that ice monsters are resisted against. And in this case, Gyodrome resists ice. Did I forget to mention that the monsters that I fight have to be G or Master Rank? So, uh, yeah, just to add a little bit more chat. Do you mind, Blango? Do you mind? Ugh. Oh my gosh. This one's actually kind of big. And I'm using the Frost Edge Sword and Shield because this is my favorite Ice Sword and Shield. I actually used to play with this weapon in a mod for Skyrim, believe it or not. This was one of my favorite weapons to use. I may even do that again at some point if I ever decide to play Skyrim again. This is definitely a weapon that I really like. I love its design. It's basically an ice crystal sword with a shield that also has ice crystals on it. It's really nice in design. I love it. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing Christmas. Broke his horn already. This might actually be pretty easy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. His Gyadrome is a pretty weak monster, so this shouldn't be much of a problem. At least I don't think. As soon as I get to a low sharpness, I'm gonna use absolute readiness. But I don't need to. This is an easy, easy monster. This is easy. This is easy. And he's already limping, too. I didn't think this challenge would be all that uh, hard, considering this guy resists ice. But, uh, yeah. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to edit this video, considering that there's a lot of ice monsters that we have to hunt. Cats, get me out. Ah. <laughs> all right, you. Come here. Ha! Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> yes, that's right. And that's the guy drum down. Uh, on to the next. All right, so our next monster is Lagambi. I'm not a big fan of Lagambi, if I'm being honest. All right, we got the roulette wheel here. So let's go ahead and spin it again. This is for Lagambi. No armor? Oh, come on. Not against Lagambi, no. 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 Legam I mean, yes, Lagambi is an easier monster, but still, he's annoying. <laughs> okay, literally, my only answer to this is Valor Dual Blades. I love using Valor Dual Blades. And yes, I am using the Bolt Reaver Dual Blades. That's my favorite Dual Blades of all time. Some may think it's a really bad weapon. Oh, and I forgot to mention, haha, charms I am not counting as armor because charms admittedly are just something that you just add to your armor. They're not really armor in themselves. 
I have a plus six sharpness charm, which allows me to put in enough razor jewels to get razor sharp. So I still have an armor skill. So ha! <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if we can actually beat G rank Legombi without armor. <laughs> He's actually not hit me that much yet. My biggest issue is going to be those Blangos. Those Blangos are... <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, challenge failed. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> uh. All right. So our first monster that we're hunting here in Iceborne is Beotodus. All right. So for Beotodus, let's go ahead and spin the wheels. See what we get. No part breaks? That's impossible. We're going to fail this right away. <laughs> Ugh. We landed right where Beotodus would be, so he shouldn't be far. Oh, he's right there. I just have to hit the legs. I have to hope I hit the legs. How am I gonna... How? 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 Will breaking snow count as breaking apart? I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. Goodness. We're gonna fail this right away. No! <sighs> okay, well, our next monster that we are hunting is Blangonga. All right, we've got our nice Wheel of Fortune again. Duh, come on, give me something nice. Give me something nice for this monster, Blangonga. Blangonga is also slightly annoying. No part breaks? Uh, I mean, I can try. Uh, that just simply means we can't hit his teeth or his tail. So if I break apart, I fail a challenge and move on. <laughs> the only Blangonka I can hunt is one that's either a hyper or one that has two of them. I'm going to choose the hyper one just simply because it's just one Blangonka. It's just one. I don't want to hunt more than one, <laughs> especially if the risk of breaking parts is pretty high. So just one. There's our target Blangonka. All right, come here. Come here, you. Merry Christmas, you filthy monkey. <laughs> this won't actually be too bad because there's only two parts that can break. That's his fangs and his tail. We have to make sure we don't hit either. Just the midsection and we'll be fine. His midsection's pretty weak too, so that helps us even more. This is actually gonna be quite tough because he moves around so much, which means this is in for kind of a long hunt, I wanna say. Although the weapon I'm using has 340 raw and I have some critical eye with this, so that should help. I think I've already asked this before, but how are you guys doing? How is your Christmas? Uh, what do you want for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below if you want anything in particular for Christmas. The only, uh, I don't really uh, want anything too terribly much for Christmas. Booyah. I probably would just want a Wii U if anything, because I want to make three ultimate content again. We have to make sure we don't break the tail or the head. If we do, the challenge is over and we have to move on. <laughs> ah, I don't want to hit the tail too much. Midsection only, midsection only. I forgot I had challenge sheath with this build, which isn't necessary but when I have absolute readiness or rather running absolute ready. Ah, oh no, I fainted once. Uh, that means uh, I can't continue. We have to move on. <laughs> All right, so the next monster that we are hunting is Zamtrios. Uh, let's see how we do. Uh, spin the wheel. MH3 U moveset only. You know what? I think I have an answer for this. Yes, that's right. I am using Striker Sword and Shield for this one. However, because it's the MH3 U moveset only, I am not allowed to use any hunter arts whatsoever because I have to play like it's Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. The only move that the striker style takes away, which is actually good for us since we have to use the MH3U moveset, is the backwards jump attack. And the backwards jump attack was never in any of the games past 4 Ultimate, so yeah, that'll actually work in our favor. <laughs> This also means that I may just have to do this without any oils too, so we'll just do that. Can a sonic bomb work here? Dang it. He noticed me before that happened, so... Let's see if we can take down Zamtrios. I feel like this is gonna be an easier one because the Blankonga was a hyper, and that's what sorta did it for me with that challenge. Uh, the no break challenge. Oh goodness, I forgot he had that. But you know what? That doesn't do much because we have this armor. <laughs> he missed. Oh, uh... That should not have hit me, but okay. Dung bomb. Ah, <laughs> oh, you dumb, dirty. 
dirty. You know what? That This is so fitting because the Zamites are acting just like the Giggies. And the Giggies are, for those of you who don't know, were these small parasite-looking things, these uh, leeches in Tryon 3U. So I kind of hate those things. <laughs> People make memes about them. People think they're cute, but I don't. They're terrifying. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. No backwards jump attack. <laughs> I, I tried to do it, but I couldn't because I have striker style. <laughs> Up quest complete, nice. <laughs> Broke his arm there, let's break the other one. You know, I wonder what Samtrios would like for Christmas. Probably a big hunk of meat or something for his large hollow stomach to swallow up. I don't know. I think I also have to uh, not play dead because I remember some people telling me in the actual challenge that I did for the entire game of, of uh, Iceborne, that I couldn't, you're not supposed to play dead, which I think I did in the challenge, and that's uh, something I completely forgot that was a thing in, back in those games. So I'm gonna try not to play dead, and if I play dead at all, I'll probably count that as a fail for this challenge. So far, he hasn't done too much to me to make me want to play dead. Probably went to area seven, so we'll just follow him there. Oh my goodness, why is there a devil, Joe? No, no. <laughs> No, get out of here. I missed my throw. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, not like this. No, no, no. If I faint, that fails the challenge. Devil Joe, don't you dare do this to me. Don't you dare do this to me. Oh, wait, did he leave? I think he left. That means he went this way. All right, you big street shark. Come here. Come, come at me. It's Christmas time. Get wrecked. <laughs> Get even more wrecked! Calculate- wait, actually, that wasn't really a calculated moment. That was more of a get wrecked moment. Okay, I don't see Devil Joe yet, which is nice. It would really suck if Devil Joe actually appeared. <laughs> Aha! You missed, fiend! Missed again! Haha! -ha, now I get to eat this. Right in front- oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go, got my stamina back up. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. Do you guys wish- What are you guys gonna have for a Christmas dinner, by the way? I'd like to know in the comments below. I mean, I, I think- I don't really know what I'm gonna have for Christmas dinner, but I'm sure it's going to be great, and I'm gonna love it. I wonder if Samtrios will return and rise. Also, no spoilers. <laughs> I think we got this, guys. Nothing can go wrong now. Nothing can go wrong now. Nothing can go wrong now. He actually missed that. Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? <sighs> Alright. Come here, Chungus. Oh no! That's a mount that that was mounting! Mount you couldn't mount in 3U! No! Alright, our next target is Snow Baron Lagambi. Oh gosh. Why? Why? <laughs> I haven't fought Snow Baron Lagambi all that much because frankly, I don't really like the normal one, so I highly doubt I'm gonna like this one. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Uh Ice weapons only again. I only have this first one. So because of that, I can only do the low rank one, I guess. I don't know. This one might be easy, but... So this is probably the only exception I'll make to the G rank only part of this rule. So there you go. Besides, I don't like this monster, so I want to get this out of the way anyway. All right, we're up here with Snow Baron Lagambi with an ice weapon, a weapon that it resists. So let's just hope we win, I guess. Forgot that he roars. I haven't even fought this guy much at all. So this might actually be kind of a, I guess a third for me because I fought this guy three times in the past. And that was with other pl players online. Oh goodness. <laughs> I am not familiar with this guy's moveset at all. I'll just have to try and stay in the middle. Oh, whoa, ooh, iframes. Actually, that wasn't really iframes. <laughs> I honestly don't know why they even made a deviant of Snow Baron Lagambi. He's kind of a... Uh, of all the monsters they could have given a deviant to, <coughs> Legiacris, they had to give it to a, a creature like this. Ah! <laughs> Booyah. Wait, was he limping? He is. Okay. I I'll just capture him. I'm just going to capture him. I don't want to fight this thing any longer. <laughs> here, I'll put a trap over here so that he can... Aha! Even if you hit me, you can't, uh... Oh my gosh. Ha ha ha! I forgot that he does that! Oh! Just get in the trap! Ah! No, 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 no,
No, no, no, no. Get me out of this. No, no. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness he was in the trap long enough. My gosh. Good night. <laughs> See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> All right. Our next target is Legiana. Yes, Legiana is not specific to snow areas, but it at least uh, inflicts ice damage and is an ice-specific monster, so... It counts. All right, we've been getting pretty unlucky with some of these, so let's go ahead and roll the wheel. Hope we get something good. <laughs> no dodging. Oh my goodness. Ugh, okay. It might be easier to do here than in GU, so hopefully we'll uh, get it. Oh boy, we're right here already. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, but uh, I'm just gonna have to play it safe. Don't dodge. Oh, goodness. I forgot how uh, Gunlance works in this game. I am so out of practice. I have not played this in such a long time. I've been mostly focusing on GU. Because I'm pretty much done with Iceborne. Oh, Stiggy and Zenogre, no. No, this is not... This is not how I imagined this Christmas... Ah! To go. As long as I don't dodge, we'll be fine. Get out of here. Try not to roll here at all. There we go. That's what we need. We need a pod. No rolling. No Superman diving. Ah! Taking hits is fine. I can't really get too distracted here because I might uh, instinctively try and evade. I'm just being really cautious. I don't want him interfering. Get out of here. Get out of here. No! <laughs> All right, so our next monster is Berioth. Now, as far as Berioth goes uh, for both games, I'm actually just gonna do the one in Generations Ultimate because I think that one is a little bit more fun. But also, I just want to emphasize the fact that Berioth comes from older games, so yeah. All right, so we're back here. We're gonna do it for Berioth. Uh, let's do it. No dodging. Okay. No dodging includes no adept evading, no evading, no superman diving, no valor sheathing, no uh, absolute evading, things like that. So we're going to have to choose wisely. And I think the best way I can go about it is gun lance. I have to avoid the temptation to hop and that's it. So... Uh, I'm gonna use long shelling here because I like long shelling. Although this means I have to give up my absolute readiness for now uh, because, uh, of course, that counts as a dodge. We're just gonna have to use something like, uh, I don't know, anti-air flare uh, too, I guess. Because he'll be in the air and if I can get a clutch moment, I can knock him out of the air. Simple. Arioth should be right outside here. Yep, there he is. It's been a while since I fought this guy on Generations Ultimate, so we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Just block, tank it, and shell. That's what this build is all- <gasps> No! Alright, our next monster is Shrieking Legiana. Since the Legiano no dodge didn't go so well, let's hope I don't get no dodge again for Shrieking Legiana. <laughs> no healing. Hmm, that's gonna be a bit tricky, but I'm gonna try. All right, at least this is not a no-dodge challenge. All right, ready? Let's do this. Get wrecked. All right. Now we can actually do something. However, we cannot heal, so... Like, we literally cannot heal. It's not a matter of if we have healing items, which we don't. We actually removed them all. It's a matter of if we're gonna win without ever healing. <laughs> this might actually not be hard. Uh, we're losing health already. Oh goodness. And you see the red health on my health bar? I'm not counting that as healing because that's just a uh, natural regeneration. That We're not counting that. Like I said, I can't use healing items and I looked to see if I had any to use and well, we can't. <laughs> If only, you know what? I have Rocksteady on. I can try and weaken parts, although that will be risky considering uh, clutch clawing on the enemies can make you lose health pretty quickly, depending on the situation. So I'm better off just playing it safe. 
Okay, at this point, we can start doing it. Dude, our health... Our health... Oh, no. We're, we're not doing so hot. No. Okay, do we have flash pots anywhere? No. A normal Legiana. No. Where's the flash pods? There they are. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna have to use the dung pots first. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well... I mean, not healing is really hard, so uh, it's... That one's over. Let's move on. <laughs> Our next target is Frostfang Berioth. Frostfang Berioth, uh, the biggest issue we're going to have is that Sub-Zero move. You know, the Sub-Zero freezing. That's gonna be a big issue. Let's just roll the wheel and see what we get. How did I know I was gonna get ice weapons only for this one? Wow, the game really likes it when I use ice weapons against ice monsters. I guess I'm in the Christmas spirit for it after all. <laughs> we have a rock steady mantle though, so that should help us. This guy's kind of big. Literally, our only hope is to start weaken weakening parts. We're just gonna have to start doing that. Our ice damage is gonna be so poor. Oh gosh. You're gonna weaken the other wing? Okay, we got it. This is gonna be tough. Oh my gosh. Come on, just let me... I just need the opening. There we go. Let's see how much ice damage we do with just a discharge, with raw ice. Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Literally nothing. We literally have to use Savage Axe mode for this. It's like our only hope. Oh goodness, no, not the freezing. No, come on. <laughs> goodness. My, my goodness. I was not expecting this one to be so difficult. Normally, Frostfang is... Okay, that's it. Yeah, I figured that there was no way we were going to take that out with an ice weapon of all things. Uh, well, time to move on. Our next monster that we have to hunt now is Gameth. This should be fun. So now we fight Gameth, so let's spin the wheel and see what we get. You're kidding! No armor again?! Ah! Well, I don't know what else to say at this point. <laughs> Gameth is one of those monsters that uh, you do not want to take without armor at all. Because I guarantee you guys, I'm just going to get one shot here. Uh, no matter if I'm using Valor Dual Blades or whatever, I'm going to get one shot. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to get one shot. All right, there's Gameth. Oh boy, I am not excited about this at all. This is like the only, the second time ever that I have ever done this with no armor. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to be careful. But even then, that's gonna be tough, knowing how Gameth is. I'm just gonna have to hit his back legs for the most part, I, unless she, I should say she, cause you know, people are gonna be like, what are you doing? It's a he ha. I mean, no, no, what are you doing? It's a she ha ha ha. Yeah, Gameth can either be male or female, okay? According to the lore, she it's female. But whatever, okay? Did I not switch out for Spiral Slice? I didn't switch that out, woof. At least I'm in Valor mode, at the very least! Woof. Okay, I'm gonna do this real quick. Oh man, that didn't do it all that well. That's okay, oh no. <laughs> Cat, free me, free me, free me, no! Okay, Tremor at least. How am I not dead yet? That's my question right now. How am I not dead yet? I'm not wearing any armor. <laughs> I just have to focus on the back legs. I don't know how I'm doing this well, but I am. I've gotten pretty good with Valor Dual Blades so far. Oh no, I, I don't want to be using this move because that means... Oh, <gasps> that took almost all my health. Oh my goodness. I just have to move out of the way. I just have to move out of the way. Okay. That would have hit me if I didn't move or move out of the way so much. I have to continue hitting the back legs of her. Oh, no, 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 no. Whew. Okay. Oh, my health. <laughs> oh, no. 
since we have since we faint once in these challenges anyway i might as well use max potions there's really no point not to i really don't think we can win guys i really don't think we can win <laughs> okay i don't oh goodness i don't want to be in front of her how did that not hit me at all i feel i aim for feline defender but still still <laughs> hi hi how's it going guys hi how's my face <laughs> I don't know how I'm not dead, but but I'm just not dead. Okay, that actually helped. Oh come on, that should have been a mel. Maybe I can do it now. Now, 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 now. Dang it, that didn't work. Oh goodness, my health. Oh, I'm in ice. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Thief, thief, thief. Save me. Thanks. Okay. Like, I kid you not, guys. I'm not wearing any armor. Oh. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, goodness. Supermaning out of that is not good. Okay, she's leaving to the next area. I can't believe we're lasting this long against her. Gonna try and get some hits on her while, while I really, really. Oh, there's no way. Oh, did you guys see that? <laughs> wow, Adept would have been the ideal play, but I can't play Adept Dual Blades or Adept. Uh, I could run Adept Charge Blade, but again. That'd be playing it risky. Please, Gamut, please get out of that corner. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Don't hit me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm lasting this long. Oh, we actually did something. Nice. Ah, uh, that still won't work. I should have gotten a different hunter art for this. I have no idea how we're doing this, guys. Like. This is my only. Oh no! Oh! I shouldn't have got myself in that animation. That got me stuck. Well, I kind of saw it coming. On to the next. <laughs> well, our next target is Elder Frost Gameth. Please don't give me no armor. Please don't give me no armor. Please don't give me no armor. <laughs> All right, let's hope we get uh, something that's not no armor for Elder Frost. Please. <laughs> All right, come on, please, please. Ice weapons only? I can live with that. That is perfectly fine. I can live with that. All right, here's Elder Frost. I have a Depth Charge Blade. I know I should be using Aerial or something like that, but I'm perfectly fine with just a Depth because I cannot for the life of me use Aerial Charge Blade. <laughs> now, Elder Frost Gameth is a bit stronger than normal Gameth, so this could be very interesting. Oh, goodness. <laughs> He's going to sit on me. Dang it, he sat on me. <laughs> Aerial Charge Blade probably would have made this easier, but I'm just stubborn like that. <laughs> and you know what? We're not doing terrible. Oh no, not this move again. I'm a no. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that move is dangerous. <laughs> Uh, give me a mount. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, that gave me a mount. That should have been a mount. That move, I don't care what anyone says, that will one-shot you, no matter how high your defense is. <laughs> ah! Not like this. I just need <laughs> to get a mount. I know area style would have helped, but... I'm too stubborn to use aerial style with charge blade. That didn't even give me the mount. Come on, turn around for me. Aha! No! It juked me anyway! Dang it! Well, I guess the rest of the fight will do without a mount. And I miss. Oh, I'm at green sharpness. I just realized. Oh my gosh, no. 
Not like this. No, 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 no. I got easy max potion. That should help me. I'm gonna need to sharpen. I should have enough time to get out of this. Should have enough time to get out of this. Hold. And. And completely miss. You know, that's fine too. That's fine. We'll just completely miss. We're actually doing it, guys. <laughs> We're actually doing it. Woo! We're actually doing well for once. Despite using an ice weapon against an ice type. <laughs> Get wrecked. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. This is actually turning out better than I thought. <laughs> but of course, I can't underestimate Elder Frost because she could easily one-shot us with that one move if she gets us in a bad position. Let's do it for all the families out there who are celebrating Christmas right now. Woo! No, go away. Oh! No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know you're coming up to me like that. I know, I know. Don't sit on me. Woo! You know what? Can I... Yes! Oh, but I have Ice Blight. That could be bad. Oh, no. Don't push me out of bounds, please. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my goodness. That worked. That worked. She's limping. She's l -l 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 limping. Okay, okay. We're going to try and capture. We oh, I'm not going to waste any time. That's why I brought my capture loadout. Not going to waste any time here. We're going to win this. Yes! We got her! We did it, guys. Elder Frost Gameth has been captured. Has fallen. <laughs> Welp. Whew. I'm actually glad about that victory. Using an ice weapon to beat Elder Frost in a one faint quest. On to the next! Our next and last monster for Iceborne that we will take on is Velkana. All right, so Velkana. <sighs> All right, are you guys ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> no part breaks? Um, that might be a bit challenging. I think we can make do, honestly. That might actually work. Quick note, uh, midway through the fight with Velkana, I did not realize that the frame rate was so bad because I had my OBS on display capture mode, which made the game look super laggy. I just couldn't put it in. So midway through realizing it, I stopped the recording, put it back on game capture mode. So now the footage you'll see will run much better. So hope that clears things up. I want to reiterate some things I've said earlier. I forgot to put the health regen augment back onto the, the charge blade that I used on the no healing challenge. And also the fact that I am not counting the ice armor breaking as part breaks. I'm only counting the breaking of the head, the wings, and the tail. That's it. The armor does not count. So with that in mind, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. If you guys have noticed any lag there, it's because I kept it on the Windows display capture mode. I didn't realize I still had it, the Iceborne capture mode so hopefully i don't have to redo this i don't know all right come on you no wall bangs because that is gonna break apart all right let's see come on oh no man why did i not avoid that that's something i usually avoid there we go getting some damage in Oh my god. No. Oh. We would have failed that. We would have failed that right there. Because oh. remember, 
if I faint once, that also counts as failing the challenge. Get down. Woo! I'm surprised I haven't broken anything yet. I hope we can actually win this without breaking apart. Because I'm not counting the ice that breaks off of the armor. I'm counting the actual parts like the wings, the head, and the tail. That's the only... No! Oh, we were doing so well. No! So the next monster is... Ukonlos. Ah, yes. One of my favorite monsters. All right, guys. I'm not entirely confident considering Ukonlos is one of my favorite monsters. But I am going to try and see... Try and spin the wheel and see if we can get something that'll help us at the very least. If we don't, then uh, we're screwed. <laughs> On-site items only. Uh, that could be bad. <laughs> well, I'm going to take him on with his own armor. But uh, looks like I'm going to have to leave all my items behind. <laughs> It was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Before I go, look, my pouch is completely empty. Let's go and do this with only on-site items. Okay, so this is basically the extent of what we can use. Since the armor we have already comes with uh, a skill to negate the cold, we don't need hot drinks, so we're gonna have to use this stuff. Oh my goodness. This is basically our items. <laughs> Our item loadout in a nutshell. I am not looking forward to this. Ukonlos with on-site items only. I'm taking him on with his own armor because his own armor is basically my only- The only armor I have that's good, that's uh, good against- Or rather, can resist ice moves. Oh goodness. That didn't do too much, surprisingly. I just have to conserve my items pretty well. Um, if I get hit again I'll if, and get to low health, I'll definitely use my items again. You know, I wonder if uh, Ukonlos in his lonely, lonely lair has a Christmas tree at all. Do you guys see a Christmas tree? Is that one? Is that his Christmas tree? Is that even a tree? I don't know, but it <laughs> are those spikes on it its decorations? Maybe. <laughs> So while I am struggling for my life to beat the Zucanlos, I want to let you guys know that my analytics tell me that only 35% of you who watch my content are subscribed. Yes, I am throwing it out there. I'm using my analytics just like popular YouTubers right now, so... You won't be seeing me do this very much, but I just wanted to throw this out there. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video, and have a Merry Christmas. I don't think I've had to use an item yet. Can I get a mount? <sighs> nope. These are my only healing items. Woo! Oh, man. I mean, we got cleansers with us, so that's nice. That ice beam, though. Gonna get ya. It'll get ya. <laughs> oh, oh, that little tap knocked him over. Well, then. <laughs> Well, not completely. Oh, there we go. There's the complete knockover. All right. Oh, ice beam. I don't trust the hitbox of that thing. Always avoid the ice beam. Oh, there it comes again. I'm going to run under him. That was actually good timing because he actually didn't aim for me there. Oh, what? What? No. Actually, I can get out of this. I'm actually going to save my cleanser. I'm just going to shake out of it. There we go. Tails off. Nice. <laughs> Got it off with the Ripper Shield, of all things. Which is really cool, actually. Can we get a mount, please? Aw, oh, dang it. I took a risk there. Pacing like a shark. Yes, we get it to Conlos. <laughs> Actually super surprised how well we are doing with uh, this little amount of items that we have. <laughs> I mean, we have cats with us, which helps. But I don't have specific healing cats. I have farming cats. You know, guys with the plunder skills. Oh! 
dumping. Oh. We're actually doing well. I am so surprised right now. Like, what is this, guys? What is this? Why are we doing so well against Dukanlos? I've never done this well against him before. I mean, granted, we're using his armor. I didn't even see what I was doing there. Like I said before with Elder Frost Gameth, for all the families that are enjoying Christmas, celebrating Christmas, the season of giving, really. Okay. Wait, no, that was not a potion. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. That was a no berry. I wasted a no berry. <laughs> That's okay. This armor is uh, resistant to ice, which helps, so. Oh, ice beam. We're doing this to save Christmas. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, get wrecked again! We're doing so well, guys. Despite our minimum usage of items. <laughs> For a very, very Merry Christmas, no. Okay, you know what? I'm using it. I'm using it. Oh, goodness, my health is low. I have to heal. I have to heal. That's my last, that's my last healing item. We might still have a chance, but I have to be extra careful. Oh, goodness. Actually, I don't know if we're going to have a chance. I really don't know now. Our health is low. We have no healing items left. I just have to rely on my cats to get my health up. And they're not specialized in healing either. Which is not the greatest part. Come on, Ukonlo. Stop chasing Thief. What has Thief ever done to you? <laughs> Oh, no. No, no, no. Just just go down already, please. Uh oh Oh, no! Ah, oh, that's okay. We were so close anyway. We were doing well. I'm at, I can't be mad. I just- I can't be mad about that. Well, that's it for this roulette challenge. I really hope you guys liked this Christmas special. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. Consider liking the video and consider subscribing to keep up with my content especially with the upcoming 2021. Be kind to one another and have a very Merry Christmas.